Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good evening. It is your Earthmaster back here on this, uh, what is it, Monday? Not Monday, but it is Wednesday, August 23rd, 2023, about 1026 p.m. California time here. Latest earthquake activity. Uh, looks like we got some movement there on the big island of Hawaii near Kilauea Volcano popping up. Uh, but latest on the globe, 1.1 up into the Alaska area. So we're going to start off here with the uh, volcano activity in the big island of Hawaii. Got a pretty good swarm of activity here. Kicking up once again in the last 24 hours. Now, it um, doesn't look like they picked up yet on the uh, this earthquake right here. Looks a little bit bigger than a two-pointer. Looks like just about half an hour or so ago. Not quite half an hour we had a two-pointer. But as you can see, this earthquake that's coming in right now pretty much flatlined uh, that two-pointer. So this could easily be up around a three-pointer or so. But we'll continue to watch this. Uh, for some movement, uh, of course, Kilauea Volcano been having an earthquake swarm, and I would say it's uh, an earthquake swarm still. 116 earthquakes in the last 24 hours. Now, the last seven days, uh, well, brings it up a little bit, but most of the, <clears throat> most of this movement here looks like it's been picking up uh, today. It's so got quite a bit of uh, activity kicking up. So, on that note, let's double check the. Uh, state statement here from the uh, hazard notification system, the HVO. Goodness, it just never fails. It's like, as soon as I hit the microphone button, let's uh, take away his voice. All right, Kilauea Daily Update. Uh, this is from the 23rd today, <clears throat> 12.05 Hawaii time. Uh, let's see, currently at a yellow and advisory. Uh, currently not erupting, but I think that's going to change here pretty soon. Uh, here's that mention of the earthquake swarm from about 4.30 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. There was about 50 earthquakes occurring at a depth of about 1 to 2 miles below the surface south of the crater area. Uh, this is going to be the fourth earthquake swarm in the area in the past week. And as mentioned here, likely caused by magma movement underneath the salt, South Caldera region. Uh, so we continue to watch that. Uh, the recent gradual trend, general trend of inflationary tilt on the summit tilt meters continued through the past day. Uh, so, yep, just kind of kind of watching that. Let's go ahead and check out the tilt meters over here. We can just swing up here around the Kilauea Volcano. Head to their site. By the way, you can check out many different volcanoes from that USGS site. Uh, the tilt meter I'm after is going to be UWE. Looks like that is functionable. Uh, let's see what we got here. This is... Um, past two days or so notice that earthquake swarm really kicked up a uh, inflationary tilt here uh, that looks like that was um, earlier this morning and then we got a little decline here uh, right now but uh, we'll continue to watch that see if this picks back up far as inflationary tilt goes there at the uh, Kilauea volcano quite a few uh seismograph stations out here so i just want to see what's going on out here across the area some of these are not working of course like always it does not surprise me these are just non-operational look at this past 12 hours you're telling me there's no earthquake so these are pretty much flatlined uh most of the time let's see if we can get this seismograph station here to key up well actually you know what if we get rid of some of these maybe we'll see more seismograph stations right tilt meters uh, let's see if this one around the crater is working. No, it's not. Right here. Yes, that one's working good. So there's all that earthquake activity. Some magma movement right here. That's generally what that, uh, activity looks like on a seismograph station. Uh, that was earlier. It doesn't look like we've seen anything since then. Obviously earthquake activity, but I'm not seeing that, uh, that general noise that magma makes there but either way there's definitely magma movement on the rise there at the Kilauea volcano continue to watch that as uh oh there's that there's a two-pointer let's see if they brought that in here yet um yeah there's another two-pointer 2223 is that the one that we just seen 2223 no, it's not. 2223 would be roughly, um, well, prior to that, I believe. Either way, there's definitely uh, quite a bit of activity kicking up here, folks. So we'll continue to watch that. 
throughout the coming hours and days. Let's talk about uh, California. Anything major going on out here? Still seeing an earthquake swarm out here, along with a, uh, a little bit of seismic activity away from this earthquake swarm area, which has been occurring over the, the uh, past couple days near Ventura. Uh, we're looking at a total tally so far of 195 earthquakes there in this swarm that began uh, oh, a few days ago, along with the arrival of Tropical Storm Hillary. Uh, of course, that has since died off uh, as far as the tropical storm goes, and uh, we're still left with some earthquake activity out here um, over the last 24 hours. There's one up here, 1.1 near Fillmore, California. One earthquake also out here around the Pomona area, 1.1. Nothing big going on yet, but uh, again, definitely keep an eye on it with all this rainwater that we've seen here in the past, you know, several days there with uh, with that tropical storm. Uh, let's see, a little activity off the San Jacinto Fault Zone. A couple smaller quakes here near the Salton Sea that's very close to the southern branch of the San Andreas Fault, which continues to sleep for now. Uh, further up North Bay area of California, pretty quiet. Northern California here, this is Cascadia Subduction Zone. Seen some earlier uh, activity earlier today. Also, it looks like uh, uh, some deeper movement quakes there as well. Let me check out the trimmer map see what we got here for Cascadia trimmer 209 epicenters of trimmer slight increase here over the last couple days mainly around the Vancouver Island range and also uh, also up here in Washington very minimal movement here across the um, Oregon area and Northern California so uh, looks like we're uh, getting some strain out here but not a whole lot of slippage so to speak down here across the southern segment we're just getting earthquake activity upstream so uh, maybe uh, stuck down there at the sl uh, the um, trimmer area while areas up north are continuing to provide um, the slow slip event in certain regions of Washington and Oregon and of course up here around Vancouver Island range which is still associated with the Cascadia subduction zone just offshore all right, um, <clears throat> Idaho, a couple twos, it looks like, three from uh, last night, the Chalice, Yellowstone National Park, let's double check, see what we got going on here for Yellowstone, and uh, this will give us a good indicator of what's going on, or maybe what's not going on here, look at the seismograph station here, that looks like uh, a couple earthquakes here, where were those quakes taking place? Definitely not local. It looks like that's uh, maybe those quakes there in Idaho uh, that were popping up here earlier. A couple twos. Uh, aside from that, really no major earthquake activity. Not not even any swarms taking place out here uh, across the Yellowstone area for now. All right, uh, back here to the uh, graph. Anything changing out here across the country? A little bit of activity up against the Appalachian Mountains here from this morning. New Madrid Seismic Zone did see some activity as well earlier this evening with a 2.4 and just some scattered activity out here in the oil fields across Texas. There's that movement, uh, pretty big earthquake down there in Argentina, a pretty deep quake. Doesn't look like we've seen any major adjustment upstream, uh, but we will continue to watch that. That was. It's pretty deep, 568 kilometers for that 6.2 occurring earlier this morning, along with a 5.1 out here. South Sandwich Trench, so um, we'll watch this area potentially for some further movement here. Um, New Zealand, double check, see what's going on out here. This is from earlier. They bring in the latest information here from the GeoNet servers, eight hours ago, 2.9 check out the all magnitudes here see if we got any major movement to chat about aside from your typical microquakes you know this is very typical here similar to california anywhere for that matter there's a 4.1 an hour ago up along the kermadec trench pretty deep 494 kilometers deep there uh, usgs doesn't look like they were put uh reporting back on that uh let me check here the earthquake drums see if we got anything that we might uh be missing there's that activity from last night, but uh, over the last 12 hours or so, things look, uh, for the most part, pretty calm. Doesn't even look like that four-pointer showed up here anywhere. Um, maybe right here. Either way, that was a pretty deep earthquake and ways away from the North Island area. 
All right, uh, around the Mariana Trench, we've been noticing a little bit of earthquake activity out here, 5.4, just uh, about an hour and a half or so ago. Pretty shallow earthquake. We did see some, a little bit of deeper movement quakes here last night near uh, Mariana Islands here. But uh, yeah, it looks like a slight uptick here across the uh, Filipino plate. One earthquake way off the coast of, uh, well, off of China. It's a 4.7 from early this morning. And um, here on the Earthquake 3D Globe, I went ahead and um, removed the EMSC globally, but kept them throughout the uh, Mediterranean area, Middle East, and portions of the Atlantic out here. Uh, just because of the, uh, the f these false earthquakes that they put out occasionally, and then they put out a wrong magnitude, and it will hang out here on the globe for hours at a time before it disappears. And... I just can't have that. We can't have false earthquakes, uh, false earthquakes out here on the uh, the earthquake 3D globe. So uh, we'll just deal with the USGS globally here, and along with the EMSC locally across this area of the of the world. Uh, I'm sure there's some small microquake activity here across the Java Trench and Indonesia Islands area, but nothing big. Uh, I'm not really seeing any fours over there. Most of the newer activity. Uh, it almost looks like it wants to push over here against the uh, Japan area and the uh, Izu Trench. So we'll continue to watch that. Minimal activity here across the um, Mediterranean. A 2.7 coming in, it looks like, in the last couple hours or so. Uh, but for now, the latest quake there on the big island of Hawaii. Let's see here. I still keep an eye on Southern California here. Uh, you know, rainfall does definitely take a little bit of time to uh, percolate below the surface, so to speak. I'll just continue to watch that. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the space weather activity. Uh, as we're looking at, uh, <clears throat> well, somewhat minimal conditions here. Notice that we're dropping below the sea flare category. Uh, so we're definitely dying off here in terms of the space weather activity. Um, looking at 3413, that's going to be this sunspot here. It does look like it is, uh, well, it's got a ways to go before it gets uh, complex enough to have uh, some strong flares. But we'll keep an eye on this region. Also down here, we're getting a little bit of uh, independent cores outside of the main core area. That could uh, spell a little bit of solar flare uptick in the coming days. Again, 3413, 3415, we'll keep an eye on. Uh, for the main threat, though, right now, 90% chance for a C flare, M flare, 15% chance, X flare, around 1%. And I could say it's not looking all that active currently on the sun. The aurora forecast, very minimal here in the coming days. Look at that, very minimal. All right, uh, anything going on across the weather? Current day one outlook, looks like there's uh, a little bit of activity up in North Dakota. And around the Great Lakes area, but uh, for the most part, next couple days look generally quiet to some thunderstorm activity out there. The uh, numerical models out here, long-range forecast models, put this into motion here, see if we got any tropical storms, tropical activity in the Gulf. It doesn't look like it. Things are pretty quiet for now out there, even the long-range models here. We'll keep an eye off the coast of Florida there. It looks like maybe something tropical starting to form around the second week of um, September, but this is, again, a ways out. Uh, let's check out the symbol here. This is a general indicator of uh, where you might see some uh, hot temperatures. Looks like we've got a massive high pressure system building up here. Canada, potentially into the Gulf of Alaska area as well. Um, and that just, I don't know. Well, that's kind of neat to see a little cold, per, uh, low pressure system here hitting the uh, Pacific Northwest towards the end of August. A little bit cooler weather for the folks out here in the Midwest regions, it looks like. Great Lakes area. Um, and yeah, we'll just kind of keep an eye on that. Either way, I think I'm, I'm, I'm a little ready for uh, winter time. I've had enough of summer. I'm ready for uh, much cooler temperatures. Uh, let's see, anything going on out here in the buoys? Any surprise stuff going on? 
I don't really don't see anything in event mode. That's a good sign. All right. Well, I think that's about it, folks. Um, trying to think here. If there's anything else major we need to chat about. I think that's about it. Just typical day, it looks like. All right, uh, what do we got here for the uh, seismograph stations here? Still seeing some smaller earthquake activity there across the big island. Looks like another swarm starting to kick up right there. Uh, so we'll definitely continue to watch that. Uh, it's hard to say when it's going to happen as far as the eruptive status again goes at Kilauea Volcano. But obviously it will be, um, it will have earthquake swarms and inflationary tilt similar to what we're having before it happens. So just one of those things here. Have a good night. Nice and quiet for now, but it's not always going to be that way. So be prepared. We'll catch you guys back here tomorrow sometime. Take care.